Welcome everyone! In this video, we will guide you through the contract review use case using the Data Snipper platform. In this use case, we'll be reviewing internal and external contracts to ensure that key information is mentioned correctly and to avoid repetitive tasks and complex review procedures. For this use case, our steps will start with obtaining the relevant contracts using search and snip, as well as snipping to extract the necessary information and inspecting the output to verify correctness. You can use validation snip or exception snip to validate or flag certain data in those documents. So let's see how this works in our Excel. First, we will import our documents. We have a tenancy agreement as an example contract for this use case. Once it has been imported, it will show in the document viewer on the right-hand side of our Excel. And we would use text snip to start snipping the information over to our worksheet. As for our contract details, we will search for the effective date, and we can find it on the second page as handwritten text. The same applies for account number. We'll use the search bar to find it. For the rent, we will use some SNP to verify that the total is in fact correct. For the security deposit and property manager, we will use the search function to find and SNP it to Excel. We will now use the validation or exception SNPs for the contract signatures to validate or flag them as needed. We can see that both signatures have been made by the tenant and by the landlord, so we will set validation SNPs for both. As there are two signatures for the tenant, we will connect them both in the same SNP by holding down the control key as we SNP over the second tenant signature. Once finished, we can now easily review all the information we have snipped. Thank you for watching this video. Happy snipping!